Hey guys, I hear a lot of online coaches talk about how different the C-Kit pull-up is from the butterfly pull-up, and I just want to take a few minutes and show you how similar and how close these things really are to each other. Uh, just with movement link in general, uh, we want to tie everything back in together and we want to use the same motor patterns over and over again. So when we're developing this thing over here, we're going to develop everything else as we link back through posture, the squat, the push up and the jump. So as we look here at uh, both the C-Kip and the butterfly pull up, you're going to see a lot of the same stuff. So as we get started here, uh, we're going to hop up on the bar and we're going to jump and we're gonna end up in this big arch position. This is a braced, nice tight body position. We see this position show up when we're throwing a soccer ball, when we're spiking a volleyball. So the start of this arch position, we use it in the burpee, we use it all over the place. Uh, it shows up everywhere in, in the CrossFit gym, but also out in real life. Uh, and so this is where both of them start. And you can see uh, the starting position, even when we're in the middle of linking reps, it's very, very similar, if not the same. What you're gonna notice is as we go through these, the butterfly pull-up is gonna be leaned backwards ever so slightly, and that's gonna be the main difference here. So next we go from that big arch position and then we snap hard into that hollow position. And so you can see a snap into that position and they look very, very similar there. So then we act like our feet hit a wall and we're gonna throw our hips up and that's gonna to start to get our body weight going up. So that's the next part. Once our body weight starts going up, then we're gonna pull on that bar. And that's gonna pull, and this is where the two start to differ a little bit. But the thing to notice is everything up to this point is almost the exact same thing. So if we're doing our kip the most efficient and powerful way possible, we're, these two kips are basically the same move. And then this is where we differ. It's just how we get up to the bar and how we get into the, the next rep. So as we're pulling up to the bar, uh, with the C-Kip pull-up, we're pulling up to the bar. With the butterfly pull-up, we're pulling up and we're kind of doing a limbo motion as we go under that bar and rotate our body as we're heading back down to get into the next rep. So getting into the next rep, in the C-Kip, you're gonna have to push away from the bar Get those feet out in front of you as we go down. Where that butterfly kip, we kind of just keep going down holding that arch position because that arch position is going to be the same uh, starting position that we use for, all, for either kip. So uh, the pieces of the kip, and again, we'll, we'll look at how similar these are, but the pieces of the kip are swinging into our arch position, snapping to a hollow position, throwing your hip up, and then that's going to pull you up. Next part is the pull up. And then that's going to kind of get us going. And then how we get in and out of either the C kip or the butterfly kip and into our next reps is really where the differences come in, but they're actually pretty minor. And so as soon as we start working on this stuff, we'll give you drills to work on both of these things. But the main thing to keep in mind, the first place we always start when we're developing our butterfly pull up is with that C kip pull up. And it's because the kip is the exact same if we're doing it right. All right, talk to you guys soon.